Uh, quick question. How many of us have spent all night or so here? Show of hands. That's such a lot. <laughs> okay. Whether it's been studying for finals or playing video games or binge watching our favorite TV shows on Netflix. Uh, we often overlook sleeping, uh, especially in Western civilization. Uh, we have this idea that the, you know, the less sleep you get, the more you get done. However, it's not true. It's the opposite. The more sleep you do, the more you get done. I wanted to choose this topic today because I know we're all in college. You know, it's something that, uh, you know, a lot of my friends and I, you know, we stay up, you know, till like 12 or 2. I don't know if it's the same for you guys, you know. Usually it's studying. Uh, that's a lie. It's not studying. We're just hanging out. But uh, sometimes it's studying. But, uh, you know, for me, I'm a victim of itself because uh, actually it's really bad because I'm an athlete, so I should be sleeping on average 10 hours a night but it's about five hours. I did some research on this, and I didn't know that what I'm doing can kill me like in 20 years because I am not resting and I'm just killing my brain cells. Uh, one of the thesis, well, not the thesis, but the thesis for this is to inform you the principles and for you to have a better understanding of sleep and the good mental health, physical health, and a better quality of life. And I already explained to you how I relate to it. You know, I'm a freshman in college, so I still have to learn to balance my time in sleeping and homework and stuff. Uh, there are three main topics that I will be covering today. Uh, it's the brain function, the emotional function, physical health, and overall daytime performance. One of the first is the brain function. For me, this is the most important because when you're sleeping, you're recovering from the full day's work. You know, you, you know, you're in class, you know, or you're exercising, or you were dealing with some drama, you know, with your friends or something. And it's, you know, you're repairing the memory for the next day. You know, so let's say if you get about four to five hours of sleep uh, last night, and right now you're listening to me. Tomorrow you're not going to remember what I said or what I wore because your mind is going to be like, oh, you know. But if you got 10 hours of sleep, you'll remember everything perfect. And that's how it works. Uh, it also, you know, all sleep deficiency also leads, oh, this is actually the most important, it leads to depression, suicide, and risk taking behavior. Uh, luckily, I haven't experienced any of those. However, I have experienced a risk taking behavior. Uh, I went swimming at the beach the other night. It was like 10, I regret it. But uh, actually, no, it was really cool. But, yeah. And uh, so yeah, that was you know, brain function and emotional well-being. Next topic is physical health. Uh, well, physical health, you know, if you sleep, sleep helps repair your heart and blood vessels. You know, it's very good for you. Uh, it actually prevents cardiovascular diseases such as diabetes and uh, you know, obesity, which is you know, that's one of the bad, uh, it's like the worst disease right there. Also, it, it like for some reason, you know, when you stay up, for every hour you stay up, it, you know, you produce, uh, you know, it's some, it's called leptin. You know, leptin is like a, it's a hormone that like releases to your body, and it's telling you that I'm hungry, and you're gonna want to put carbohydrates in there and sugars. So, you know, late at night you'll be eating cereals or like an ice cream, some sort of, uh, some sort of snack, you know, and that's just really bad because you're not supposed to be eating at least two three hours before you go to sleep. Uh, it also helps you with uh, healthy growth and development. So, you know, for everyone, you know, that's important. Uh, for an athlete, that's the most important for me because, you know, when I train, I have to recover, uh, you know, continuously for, throughout the week for all the exercises that we do and stuff. And this is, uh, this is a little diagram I wanted to show you guys. Uh, we often hear that, you know, oh, well, how do I stay healthy, you know, well, eating right and exercise. That's true. However, all of that goes out the window if you don't sleep. So if you don't sleep, at least you, everyone's different. You know, some people recover in six hours, some people eight hours, uh, some people 10 hours. My friend, he needs 12 hours of sleep. I don't know how he does it, he has no life. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the main one, so sleep, yes, get some sleep. 
and daytime performance. Uh, if we don't sleep, you know, right now in class, you guys are going to be like, you know, usually it's something called microsleep. I don't know if you guys heard of that. Do any of you guys know what microsleep is? All right. You know, you ever in class and you just like, you guys do that? You know? <laughs> all right. Well, I do it all the time. And I didn't know I had a name, so it was really cool. So like, I'm walking around, so you're like, I'm microsleeping, bro. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, but however, it's funny, but what people don't know is uh, it's one of the number one reasons why people get in car accidents throughout the year. Uh, I saw a statistic saying that it was about 100,000 people die a year because of car accidents due to microsleep. And it's, you know, it's pretty bad. I also want to share with you guys, um, okay, let's say if you guys live up to 90, do any of you guys know how many of those years you guys would spend on sleeping? 20 years? Oh, well, if you're, if you're doing it right, six to eight hours, you know, every day for 90 years, you'll spend 32 hours asleep. So that's a lot. And that's a healthy person right there. So if you're doing 20, then that's, that's bad. <laughs> All right. So I just wanted to start wrapping this up. And well, uh, basically the main points that I went over was the brain function, uh, the physical health, and also the emotional well-being. Uh, for this, I hope you understand the, you know, the importance of sleeping. You know, I myself am a victim of this. You know. After doing all this research, I'm definitely gonna like try at least sleeping six to eight hours, and um, I think you guys should too for your health and your safety. And you know, 